Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Hermione for those of you who are new here and today I'm going to be showing you some DIY Gilmore Girls inspired crafts. I have been waiting 10 years for this revival. You guys have no idea. I'm so excited. So in honor of that, I decided to do some Gilmore Girls inspired DIYs because I'm a bit of a super fan. And as always, don't forget to like this video if you did like it, it makes me very happy. And my social media, you can check it out below. It's in the down bar. So let's go ahead and get into these DIYs. So let's start off with this wall banner which has a quote on it which says what she tackles she conquers which is a Richard Gilmore quote. So this is how you do it. I'm taking this printable which is actually linked in the down bar and I'm flipping it and I'm printing it on some photo transfer paper. This is the kind of paper that you can print on and then iron onto any piece of fabric. So I'm taking a big square piece of cotton fabric and ironing it out because I just washed it and then I'm going to go ahead and put my transfer paper on once I've trimmed it to size. I put a tea towel in between the iron and the transfer just to make sure it was still getting hot but nothing was getting ruined and then once it's cooled for a couple of seconds you can go ahead and peel it off. I'm then going to cut it into the shape and if you're wondering why I didn't do this first it's because I wanted to make sure everything fit properly but you can do it the other way around if you'd like so I'm just cutting it into a pentagon shape like so and then I'm going to go over and fold these corners in so I'm just going to use my scissors and cut about an inch into each side of the shape. I then went ahead and used a glue gun to glue the sides in place when I folded them over. I made sure not to do the top one, you'll see why in a minute, and I cut off any little excess straggly pieces of fabric as well. So to hang this up you're going to need a piece of string and place it on the top and when you go to fold over and glue your top piece you just have to make sure that the string can move freely like so. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. And then just go ahead and tie the string in a knot at the top and then you can hang it up. If you want to go the extra mile you can also add some pom pom trim which is what I did. Once again using the hot glue gun I just attached the trim like so. Side note I couldn't get the wrinkles out of the material no matter how hard I ironed it. I don't know what was going on there but it doesn't look so bad in person it's just on camera. Anyway this is how it turned out and you can use whatever kind of trim you would like or whatever quote but if you would like to use this quote I will leave it in the description. Moving swiftly on, this quote from the theme song is one of my favourites and I wanted to use it somehow so I created this banner that you could use for a viewing party for the new season or whatever you want. So I'm using some craft supplies here, I've got these big letters and some scrapbook paper but if you're not a craft hoarder you can go ahead and print out some paper and a stencil. So all I'm doing is flipping the paper over and then also flipping over my letters to draw around them. Once again, like I said, you can totally just print these out if you don't have these supplies, therefore you don't have to spend extra money. And yeah, I'm just a craft hoarder so I wanted to use some of the stuff I have but you can see what I'm doing so however you end up making it, it it should totally look really cool anyway. So I'm just cutting those pieces out and then using a hole punch and then punching holes at the top of the letters, two holes on the top of wider letters and one on thinner letters like L's and I's. And then I just took the same string from earlier and threaded that through, putting the quote in the right order and I did two strings because it's quite a long quote and there you go. Where you lead, I will follow. I love those Disney princess shirts which have all the names of the princesses on, so here is a Gilmore Girls version if you are more of a Gilmore fan than a Disney fan. It's okay, I got you. So this one is super super simple as well, all I'm going to do is take this quote that I will leave once again in the description, I flipped it, don't forget to check the instructions on your transfer paper first and all I'm doing is cutting it out and placing it on the t-shirt where I want it to go and then I'm just going ahead and ironing this on and you can use a tea towel in between as well. I wanted to try both methods and I think I prefer using a tea towel on top of the transfer paper like earlier so bear that in mind if you try this out and then once it's cooled down for a couple of seconds you can go ahead and take the transfer paper off and you have your Gilmore Girls inspired t-shirt and I love this one because I've never been able to find a Gilmore Girls t-shirt anywhere so I had to go and make one 
And what would Gilmore Girls inspired projects be without a coffee cup? Of course. So this one has a quote on it that Lorelai famously said in Luke's and she just said, coffee, coffee, coffee. And I thought that was perfect. So here is what you need. You need a plain mug and some paint pens or some porcelain markers. All I'm doing here is writing out the words coffee three times on the mug in different colors. And I wanted to make sure they all looked the same. Because of this, I wanted to make sure it was really easy to remove the pen if I made any mistakes which I did quite a few times and I went over it a few times as well just to make the colors brighter and if you are not using porcelain markers don't forget to use some dishwasher safe mod podge and go over the top of this that way your design will stay in place I love this because it's a really subtle way to say how much you love this show because you can't really tell it's Gilmore Girls inspired unless you're a fan and lastly, I have some poster printables, which I will link on my blog down below if you want to go print them out. They're just some quotes from the show, and I really, really like them. As you've seen earlier, one of them was used for one of the DIY projects, so that's where you will find that. Just check in the description bar. That is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and you love your more girls as much as I do. Comment below whether you are Team Dean, Jess, or Logan. <clears throat> Team Jess. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.